Hey everyone, welcome back to Review Radar. In this video, I'll show you how to connect PS1 controller to PC. So, PlayStation 1 controller is a very old controller, and to make it work, you will need a piece of hardware that is actually a uh, adapter that will convert your PS2 controller into actually a PS3 controller. So it basically will just simply emulate and turn on the software level your PS2 controller into a PS3 controller so you can after that use this controller on both the actual PS3 if that's something you want to do and you can actually use this uh, PS2 controller with this adapter uh, on PC as well so how this works so as you can see this is the first uh, entrance uh, should I say uh, this will be the part where we insert our actual uh, cable from our PS2 controller. This actually um, is very similar to the PS1 controller as well because the in is very similar. Okay, and the out, as you can see that we have, is the actual uh, usual USB wire that we will actually insert into our uh, port in our computer. Or, uh, on the other hand, of course, you can also insert it into a PS3. So. Basically, you purchase this uh, adapter, then you insert your wire into this from the actual PS2 controller. You insert it into here, and then the entire wire, including the actual adapter, you insert this uh, USB into your PC's uh, USB port. And after this, I'm going to guide you through the next steps that you want to perform in order to make all of this stuff work. All right, after we have essentially converted our PS2 controller. You want to just insert all of this, including the adapter, into your USB port. After that, just go ahead and download this DS Hit Mini app from GitHub. All right, so let's open up new tab. So this is the application that you need. So go to releases and just download the uh, driver, this application. So go to latest, make sure to download latest and not pre-release and just uh, go to assets and download the zip file and unzip it into any folder on your PC that you want. Okay, and once in here in the folder, so you're looking for this x64 folder, then go ahead and open up this folder and make sure to install the uh, information files. So there are two of them, the DSHID mini and IG filter. So go ahead and right click press install and in here right click and install after that reboot your computer after rebooting go ahead and launch up this application and your controller will basically appear in this list all right as you can see our playstation 3 controller well it's actually a ps2 controller converted into the playstation 3 controller is now displayed in this application so click on it and make sure to set the hit device mode into ds4 windows after this, uh, we will need another piece of software, which is called DS4 Windows. So let's open up our uh, browser back and type that in. Go ahead and see the second link. Download the latest application onto your PC. You can either choose a zip file or the installation file. And now open up DS4 Windows. As you can see, my controller is already recognized to DualShock 3. Go to Settings go to device options, make sure to enable the DS3 controller support, the DualShock 4, the DualShock 3 controller. After that, uh, the first actually step that you will have to perform are going to be installing the driver right over here from the DS4 Windows. So install step 1 and install step 4 just in case. After that, just press start. And now you can basically use your DualShock 2 emulate it into DualShock 3. You can use this uh, controller on your PC and you can easily play games. Now uh, it will be uh, emulated into a Xbox 360 controller. So if I go to my edit, uh, this is the profile that you will have to create in this app. So if I go to my profile where I have all my bindings and all my buttons, as you can see, everything is just default. The sticks, the buttons, everything is a default. So you go to other, and as you can see, the emulated controller is going to be Xbox 360 controller. So it's very easy. And now basically you can open up any of your games and easily play them. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. If this helped, like the video and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.